what's up guys this is shukesh once again and uh, well from the title of this video you can guess what i'm gonna do today i just unboxed this iphone 6s plus yesterday and i want to do a bend test badly the previous year's iphone 6 plus was a disaster and uh, this year apple did turn that around instead of using consumer grade 6000 series aluminum they used 7000 series aluminum which is sturdier and mainly used in aerospace this new structure can take more or less 100 pounds of weight and I still don't suggest you to keep this in your back pocket and sit on it. Well, there are a few disadvantages of this new alloy as well. First of all, it's pricier around 4 or 5 times pricier than the 6000 series alloy. Mainly because of this, the launch price of this iPhone 6s Plus is around 9500 more than its predecessor. The iPhone 6s model also got a price hike of 8500 rupees. I should also mention here the iPhone 5s and the iPhone 6 had the same launch price. Another demerit of the new alloy is it increases the likelihood of corrosion. Apple did use a different anodization process to minimize the corrosion, so let's hope not to see any type of rust or crack anytime soon. Now let's get started with the bend test and uh, it's not humanly possible to put 100 pounds worth of pressure with hands unless I am the mountain. Still I'll try my best and as you know the power key as well as the volume key area is the weakest point of this construction so I'll put pressure in this area mainly. So let's get started and see what happens. Well, I did hear some cracking sound, so that's not good. The metal is not definitely bending, but I did panic a little bit because of the sound. There is definitely no trace of bending in the power and also in the volume rocker area. There might be some microscopic changes, but that's totally negligible. Well, I don't know whether you can see or not, but the phone is actually slightly bending. It's not permanent but still the phone is slightly bending and the construction is actually flexible I'll say. I think after releasing the pressure the phone is perfectly straight. Comment below if you see any type of bend on the phone. If it was the previous iPhone 6 Plus then the scenario would have been different. The 6 Plus could take around 35 to 40 pounds of pressure so Apple got this right this time. Yet I can't help but wonder how can a brand like Apple make such a blunder with their iPhones. I personally restrained myself from getting the iPhone 6 Plus previous year. Now you can surely get the iPhone 6s Plus without any doubt in mind. That's all in this video guys, thanks a lot for watching. Keep in touch for more interesting videos on this iPhone 6s Plus. Have a nice day guys.